It just, just happens. But, I mean, we're not going to be seeing any big boys. We're going to be watching McB against uh, the legendary Shobs, the Falcon Dude, from Smash okay. 4. So, McB is Shobs' biggest fan, and also they fought last time they were here. And their characters are different. It's a different game, and they're older. Let's see how it goes. Definitely going to be a lot of uh, maturity, both in the characters' game and the players, more importantly. It's going to be interesting seeing how this goes. Uh, Ryu, with the recent buffs, hasn't moved too much in the tier list uh, in regards to Smash 4, but with uh, Falcon, it's been a rocky ride. Yeah, he's gotten improvements though, slowly, slowly but surely. And one of the things that Shab was always good at in Smash 4 was his movement and baiting out air dodgers. So it's gonna be interesting to see how McBee counteracts that. Ooh, good focus though. Gonna find that uphill shore. You're gonna take that first stock with only 20%. Looks guess, like Shab's needs a little bit of digging in the memory me memory area. I, I guess McBee has the answer to those movement and air dodge read options. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, he, he didn't even get a chance to do any of them. And one thing that McBee is always really careful about is getting optimal percent whenever he gets a hit. Kind of like me. Like, he prefers percent over getting the kill sometimes. Uh, maybe to a fault, but it's really paying off because he got that hard up tilt in the Shoryuken, and before that, he was just doing down tilt Tatsu because it's so strong and does yeah, a lot like of damage. He's definitely a player who wants to go for just what is confirmed. Yeah, you see that right there. Not trying to extend too far. Going for the down air up tilt. Going for another down air. Getting a little bit excited there. I mean, he's up by a lot right now, so it's definitely... This is the position Ryu wants to be in. Yeah, see, McBee's wrists are just like normal player's slight gambles. Yeah, good So, nair. like, you can tell he's starting to feel himself when he's like, ooh, a little bit of risk. Ooh. Gonna go for something that's not true. I'm gonna hold my control. <laughs> Today I bought two bingo cards. Oh my god. <laughs> Up being gonna take it off the top though. Possibly bad DI. I mean, regardless, gonna send him off. It's pretty strong. It's like 64 up B. Yeah, that titty twister sends you really far. <laughs> A little bit of spice to it, a little bit of kick, a little bit of flair. Ooh, Flip flicks his pinky pretty hard. Okay, speaking of reads, McBee with the phenomenal. I'm gonna run up to you, and you're gonna freak out. I already know. Yeah, he's gonna try and spam those up tilts on shield. I mean, he gets so much when he when he goes for him. Sure, you can not quick gonna take it. Aero Here's the Shoryu. aerial version. Yeah, arrow sure you significantly weaker than the grounded one. So I mean, definitely a reason you're you're always gonna see your Ryu mains and uh, Ken mains play so grounded. That's why, that's why all the Kins like yeah, Ken and Ryu players, they love run in sure you can, not jump in sure. Unfortunate air dodge, and just like that, Shobs is in the lead. Right, not by see. much, though, 148. Yeah. Yeah. One hit move from Ryu. Let's see what he can do with this lead. Uh, Nair dash okay. attack, going for a two hit move is that instead. A uh, possibly. That looked like pretty it, freaky. It looked like on the fast faller with that much uh, hit stun and that percent, certainly gonna kill. I also think he fast fell in air, which probably helped. Oh, that was interesting. I don't think you can help him with Falcon. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you're always fast falling. Shobs, he did lose his stock around the same time McBee did, but he's gotten some good good damage right now. Let's yeah, see how McBee can counteract. Yeah, doing his best to kind of push his advantage here. He's been doing a really good job at catching McBee, trying to uh, pick this game back up. We saw that momentum from McBee when he got that when he got that lead. He was so obscenely confident, but now when he's playing from behind, Shobs that completely switched his mind game. McBee's trying to also play a little bit more careful, but what he was doing earlier was working just fine. And good up tilt. Quite gonna find anything else out of it, but gonna, gonna send a message. Running back in neutral now. Both players just trying to find an opening. Good nair. Ledge trapping situation for Shaw. Oh, good almost, shield though. Yeah, really, really good from there. The timing on that back air almost gonna stuff out that uh, focus from ledge. Damage. It missed. Down tilt Tatsu. Not quite gonna work. He might be not out percent. Kill. Good di down. Ooh, that was a little bit scary. That Tatsu sends you up when you do it right after a hit stun, and he almost like flew himself into the blast zone. Ooh, good up, good Tatsu. This is the percent where you wants you at. He also has rage right now. Absolutely. One hit confirmed. That's it. Uh, okay, back throw. Yeah, we could see so many confirms into that move for the win. It's gonna be a question of if McBee can get at a disadvantage and Miss find it. input. No punish from Shobs. No punish. Oh, not quite gonna find a punish from McBee. That was the game. Okay, Nair. Down tilt. Shops not gonna find it. There. Unbelievable. Yeah, McBee looking like he did one tilt, down tilt too many, and he's gonna pay for it dearly. McBee squirming a little. He, like, just threw out that uppie. Definitely. I mean, he kind of threw out that uppie throughout that game, really. SD at 40%, and then losing that kill confirm right at the end. Definitely not what you want to see. He was put together, but towards the end, he started to get a little bit shaky. Yeah, after that after that suicide, Shab started to take, he just took that momentum. He did not give it back. That's exactly like what I said as soon as he has to eat. I'm like, let's see how much extra credit and momentum Shabs can get off of this. And he got, he took him to like 75 when he only took 30. So I think, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. I mean, Shabs, that's definitely like one of the traits of a lot of Falcon mains. You're not going to see a lot of campy Falcon mains. You're going to be seeing them get that advantage, get that opening, and push it as hard as they can. And Shabs got, took that momentum and was like, uh, thank you very much. I'm going to check it out now. It's like when Shab gets, when Shab, 
Shobs. I can't English. When Shobs gets momentum, he doesn't do it like normal Falcons. He doesn't just like start pressing buttons. He'll like get his percents, but he'll go for the safe stuff. So like if yeah, if you can think about it, both of these players kind of play very similarly, but with different characters. Yeah, his character is kind of similar in a weird way. Both big brawlic men, but uh, very different kill confirms. Big muscles, hard hitting moves. Absolutely. Just one slow. <laughs> yeah, good uppy though. It's gonna pretty even right now. Looks like Shaz has definitely taken that momentum from the last game and used it to piece together how to go about this game. And McB, like he took a tiny break in between games. He's like, I gotta compose myself if I want to take this winner's quarters match. Definitely. Yeah, McB. You know, <laughs> hopefully not to get too starstruck by playing his uh, his hero. But, uh, <laughs> hero. Oh my gosh. Anyone who's lost his whack already having PTSD. Mm -hmm. I killed Down tilt, not quite gonna find it. <laughs> Down tilt, looking for him. McB wants that kill. He knows the percent's right. Ooh, I like the idea from Shobs. Yeah, really cute. Going for something. Going for a bit of a re. Not quite gonna find it though. Reset? Yeah, just grab back throw. Put uh, Ryu back off stage. Good air dodge. That was literally like his last resource. Yeah, we're seeing, we keep seeing McB recover high. He really wants to avoid these down air possibilities from Shobs. Absolutely. I mean, it's Falcon. Who doesn't want to avoid down air? <laughs> Definitely, but in this situation where you just keep getting punished, maybe you don't want to do it anymore, but that down air going to get punished. They, too much end lag. I do want to backtrack just a little bit. That down B from Shobs was phenomenal. He didn't use it a single time last game. Not even for recovery. Oh, but that up B even better. Going to take that stock and even it right up. The classic up B out of shield. Who could yeah, forget it? DP out of the corner, baby. <laughs> for for Ryu, I mean, that's a little literal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, that's exactly what he's doing. Ooh, good Ooh. damage. Yeah, Shop's a little short on the grab. Definitely not. not had to be, uh, he's kind of expecting to grab Ryu's leg there, but uh, not quite going to find it. Nice down. Nice uh, nice. just bread and butter confirms like we're seeing McPhee do. Send him to the right for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting seeing if McBee's. I, I hope. I wonder if McBee's gonna be able to combo off that uh, the shock slow fireball. He can, but I, I know he can. I'm just gonna see if he will. Oh, oh but the jab, jab confirm sure into you. Sure you on that platform definitely helped him kill a little bit earlier. Yeah, beautiful special cancel from McBee, and that's exactly what he needed. Only 33%, 45 now. Don't make don't SD, and you probably got this game. Don't make SD, and you probably got the game. Honestly. <laughs> okay, no nothing. I'd like to see Shops try and challenge that up B with a down air, because Falcon's down air, kind of disjointed, it's really big, and also when Ryu Shoryukens through the stage, it oh sometimes goes past, he doesn't have anything. I thought we were going to see a down air there to, oh, to punish the... Hey, that up B worked just as well, though, and he I killed know. him off the top, because, like, McB didn't have a jump, or, uh, he only had an air dodge and an up B and a side B, and he chose side B, Ooh, and good Tomahawk like grab. Gonna get some good damage out of it, 28%. Nice, gonna go for it again. McB keeps recovering high, but Shobbs just keeps sending the same message. Don't do it. Good back air cross up on shield. Good punish on the spot dodge with down tilt. Gonna get him some bread and butter. 53%, now 68. This is what you want as a Ryu main. 79. We're, we were talking earlier about how McBee likes to use fireball. Well, from what I've noticed, he likes to use it to take stage control. <gasps> oh, almost breaking shield. Definitely. He really likes to send those out because he knows that sending out a slow multi-hit is going to be very hard for a, for a character like Falcon to deal with when he wants to play so grounded. Yeah, it's like he has to jump in. McBee's like, I got that covered. Especially with that platform. Makes the positioning so difficult to deal with. You just kind of have to respect it. 109 now. This is the exact percent we saw Shobbs die at last stock. Well, both of the players dash backed and ran in with neutral air. Up till, oh, up till into the roundhouse kick. I think that was bad DI. Side. I think Shobbs was DIing away. He was, and then he just was got definitely caught. bad DI, but he might have died anyway. That roundhouse is ridiculously strong. I know, but like he just went, like you know the angle that it sends at. He like the way. It oh yeah, really I mean it was, it was he like the best. he was probably SDIing up and away. That's why he died. That's why he died so early. But I mean, at the same time, like I said, he was probably dead anyway. Just because of how early that kills just normally. And if not, McB had a great ledge trapping situation. Definitely. Good setup. Wonderful use of that new move from Ryu. Taking it back. PS2, the whole set. I like it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, both players, I, I imagine the stage isn't immeasurably better for one or the other. And it's definitely like in this matchup on this stage, it's very much a momentum switch and just who's doing better that game. Absolutely. And McB has a casual Falcon, emphasis on casual, so he knows some of Falcon's better stages. Probably immediately ban those, and Shobbs is like, well, if I just run it back, why not? Yeah, I mean, if anything, just ban your bad Ryu stages, but I mean, exactly. regardless, we're just going right to the uh, to the stage we've been playing on all set. Down tilt, shots. Yeah, easy percent, 45 percent, 45, this is exactly what you want. Shobbs with the Tomahawk there, trying to be scary, but maybe he was ready for it, jump fair out of shield. Yeah, he's been using a lot of those uh, Tomahawks this game, so I'm not surprised to see McBee finally pick up on it. He's like, wait, hold on, I've seen this episode before. Yeah, good focus. Not good focus punish on the jab. 
Nair one, not gonna find anything though. Barely missed that grab. Yeah, tip your toes, don't confirm it in anything. Down tilt? Just the down tilt, perfect. Yeah, hard down tilt though. Yeah, McBee recognizing the spacing and just wanting to get what he knew he could get. Yeah, and then after that, he waited for shops to do panic option off the ground. Ooh, good stuff. Using the Tatsu high, gonna stuff out the down air. Good stuff from McBee, not showing down any tilt? sense Screw of fear. Down tilt gonna confirm. Nice. And McBee just keeps going up so just pronounced in the set. Oh, but that dare, that Nair uh, one foyer are gonna be even more pronounced. McBee giving the Smash player head nod. You can't go a set without a Falcon knee. Let's be for oh real. Oh my gosh, 60 per, I would hope you don't go a set without a Falcon knee, otherwise you're doing something wrong. Oh, uh, as Falcon? Heck yeah, you're Especially doing something wrong. Especially in a game wrong. where you have like three into it. I will say though, that probably gave Shop some momentum. He, I can see him feeling himself right now. Possibly, every Falcon main does when they get a knee. <laughs> every player does when they get a knee. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're right. Oh, nice. The thank you leg. Light, yeah, but for, beautiful light forward tilt there. I'm glad you know the names of the moves. I know it, I knew it was F tilt. I didn't know which one though. <laughs> I believe it's light forward tilt. I'm just gonna say it with confidence. Okay. Oh, good parry jab. Not gonna quite uh, find its mark though. What, I like the Tatsu though. Mess input or not, it was a good Tatsu. Absolutely, it just escape the situation. If it hits him, get damage. Yeah, exactly. Good yeah. stuff from good stuff. The short, the Shokunetsu is gonna put uh, Shobs right in that percent he doesn't want to be at, but Ryu wants him to be at. Shobs right now, kind of fishing for a second. Wake up, DP jab punish into the Shoryu. Shobs missed a grab, I believe, a missed grab or jab, and then Ryu just run in and punished him. Beautiful stuff from McBee. His conversions Pressure. have gotten so much cleaner after that first game, where he's really started to see Mon Spaghetti all over his controller. Like I said, in between game one and two, he took a second. He's like, I need my composure. If I want to take this, yeah, McBee, definitely the kind of player. Just take a deep breath, you know, just in and out. Drink some water. Exactly, like Grandma always told you. And here we are, game three with the stock lead. Yeah, that being said, though, Falcon's nice not out of it. Absolutely not. Falcon's never down and out. Over the near one knee, gonna catch the frame trap ledge with the uh, frame upbeat. trap shield with the upbeat. Good stuff. Is that it? Okay, no. McBee trying to go for a read. Not working out the way he wants. He had the, he had the hit, but he didn't expect Jab 2 to connect. Yeah, good stuff with the Shock and Netsu. Just kind of keep this advantage going with Rage. Good parry. In the percent for death. Right. Shop just spamming. Down tilt. Not going to find oh, its mark. Yeah, McBee. Nice. Good up Yeah, good stuff. McBee waiting just a hair too long on that Shoryu. Possibly not quite believing it would connect. He was trying to call out Shobs jumping out of one of his... Uh, his Oh, good uppy. He's yeah. trying to call out Shops jumping out from his tilt earlier because he did that earlier in the game. Definitely good stuff from McBee, but not quite going to find his mark and instead going to lose the stock for it. See, good point th air. This is a scary situation. Falcon with Rage. He can just blow you up right now. McBee's going to have to play super safe right now. Definitely. I mean, McBee, like we are talking about, he's no stranger to playing safe. That is, Absolutely. That is the only word he knows. <laughs> my, man, my man watched the Ryu safety video, and that's that's all he plays. <laughs> it's just like, I, I guess I got to watch my hand for five years. Oh, miss that. input. Trying yeah, to go for up air. For sure Shaku. I don't know how you get Shaku out of a up air. Hey, he's probably nervous right now. That I'm not is, gonna lie. I'd I, be nervous right now too. I don't know, man. He's been doing really well. The only thing that's gonna kill him now are the nerves. Absolutely. Yeah, this percent that back air. Shops right now kinda he's starting to see the light. He's like, I have a chance. Oh, okay. back air into Tatsu gonna take it Jab, off. Jab, the top. You don't even need a Shoryu. I understand why I went for Tatsu. He was too far away for Jab Jab Shoryu. And the and 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 Tatsu would kill. He just sticks so out his not? big old leg and kicks you and you Absolutely. die. Yeah, my man dude, my man worked out his quads today. Exactly. Yeah. Dude, never skip leg day. Oh, Ryu never God. skip No, okay, no. Ryu, Ryu in the gym no, no. just pumping. Ryu legs. does arm day, Ken does leg day. Yeah. I Only leg day. Yeah, but like that Tatsu does more leg day than anything Ken has. Oh 